recently got asked how to make really nice and neat shoulder, arm and neck seams and I thought I'm going to answer this question in this video. So my first tip is to use a really thin needle. I'm using a beading needle. And the next tip is to make really, really tiny and small stitches. And I'm using a ladder stitch and I'm making the stitches really so small that you can hardly see them. I prefer it if you can not see any stitches. I've seen some dolls with really big and wide stitches. That's not my preference. That's why I make really, really small stitches. And you can go around the neck and shoulders and arms several times to make the stitches even more disappear. And now I'm aligning the arms underneath the neck here in the center. And then I'm pulling the back fabric piece over to the front and I'm sewing it directly over the arm center. And now I'm pulling the front fabric to the back and I'm sewing it to the back fabric piece again with really small stitches and I go through several times to make a really nice seam finish here merging those front and back pieces of fabric and then I continue sewing my small ladder stitches around. Take your time, don't rush. This is sort of a bit of a meditation for me. I really enjoy making dolls because I have to focus so hard on making the right stitches that I have no time to think about any worrying, troubling thoughts. <laughs> so on the other side, I am closing the shoulder seam in the same way. I just sew the front part of the torso to the back part with a few small stitches and now I'm closing the shoulder seam by making again really small stitches, picking up a tiny little piece of fabric on the right side and then a tiny little piece of fabric on the left side of the shoulder or on the front and back and I'm sewing it together again with really small stitches and I'm making sure that it is that the seam goes down in a straight line over the center of the arm so that it all looks nice and neat. And once I'm close enough to the arm, I start sewing all the way around the shoulder here, tiny stitches again, picking up the fabric from the top of the arm and then a tiny little piece of fabric from the torso and I sew it all together nice and neat. And this, these steps are the most time consuming. So when making the doll, this sewing around the neck and sewing the shoulders and arm seams really takes up the most time. It can take me a couple of hours depending on how often I sew around and how tiny and small I make the stitches and sometimes it's a task that I'm dreading a little bit but in the end I know this will give me the chance to make the doll face afterwards and so I'm looking forward to di discovering the little personality of the doll so I am even enjoying these steps now and I especially enjoy it when I get get it to look really nice and neat. So same thing again here. I pick up a tiny little piece of fabric from the torso and then a small piece of fabric from the arm. I apologize for my arm. It's in the way here in front of the camera. I hope you can still see what I'm doing here. And then I'm finishing the arm. I go around several times sometimes just to make sure that the doll is sturdy and lasts really long. But the smaller you make the stitches, the sturdier it is, I think. I just wouldn't want any stuffing to come out of those seams. That would be not very good. <laughs> As you can see, you can hardly see any stitches here. Now I'm finishing off my thread. I just tied a few knots. Now I'm pulling the thread through the body here and cut it off. 
And now for the other shoulder to make it all even, I make sure that the distance is the right one and that it all looks very symmetrical. And then I'm going to close the other shoulder seam as well in the same way, just to make sure that the doll looks symmetrical and nice and pretty. I hope this video was a little bit helpful. Please send me all your questions to Teresa at SammyDolls.com or you can ask all the questions in the Sammy group on Facebook as well, which is linked down below the video. And I hope I see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.